But gentle, gentle. Bro. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. <laughs> it's just... This girl. Now you just heard those cracks at the start of the video. That's just a little taster for what we've got coming up in today's video. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and let's get into it. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. All right, so let's do this. Let's start off with an exam. Let's look at your spine and then after that, I'll get you adjusted. Okay, looking at the feet first, I don't see any supination on the left or pronation. It looks like there's a possible pronation on the right, but it's symmetrical and bilateral. Otherwise, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off all look symmetrical from left to right. There does seem to be a, a slight possibility of pronation on then a corresponding <laughs> head tilt to the right. So right here towards the right shoulder, go turn around and go back the other way. Good. And then it's confirmed here looking at it from this way as well. I'm not even talking right now. It's interesting it's... to hear. Hip swing from left to right. It looks like it's restricted moving to the right. I am more flexible in this hip. Okay, looking at the feet, we do have a moderate decrease in the arch. Yeah, and there's a slight bowing here on the right Achilles tendon, not as much on the left. So a little bit of possible or mild pronation on the right foot and decreased arch on the left. Romanian deadlift motion. I feel like my body wants to turn this way. Fatigue is probably a factor too, and when you're not paying attention to it, go. I can see it's slightly starting to come back and rotate that way. Okay, just looking at your spine, I see the high left shoulder here, and then I can see it in your scapula too, but your spine is symmetrical and even. I don't see any curvatures here. We have to recheck this with you standing. Okay, I'm going to do a temperature evaluation with the back of my fingertips. Okay, very symmetrical. Like This is dry and symmetrical from left to right. Mm -hmm. But then as we come down, I start to feel more drag on this right side. That, mm -hmm. You've got some stuff here. This is levator Oof. scapula, right? Mm -hmm. But like your spinal muscles are very symmetrical and they have a good tonicity to it. I'm going to uh, pop your SI joints, okay? okay? So first I'm going to place my fingertips on top of your iliac crest, your hip bones right here, okay? Okay, this helps me find the L3 vertebra. This is the iliac crest here and the SI joint here. Okay, any tenderness, discomfort yeah. here? Yeah. How about this left side, any here? Oh, that's ticklish. Yes, ow, ooh. All the way, touching? Yeah, that's good. Okay, now look up. Oh, look up with my eyes yeah, or with my Yeah, head? look up with your head. Close. Open. Close. Okay, so this is moving over here, but this is slightly more restricted on the ex external and internal. Yeah, there's just like a, it's like slightly like spastic over here on the left like it's really working hard in the left lumbar i'm going to trace up the hamstring and find the bottom of the glute fold there so it's slightly lower on the right and then looking from the top it's slightly external rotated on the right so that means your right pelvis is gone like this so we're going to look for an asin on this left okay we're still far away from adjusting okay mm -hmm. so you don't have to be nervous yet we're still gonna practice one first. Now, don't help me, just let me do it, just relax. Mm -hmm. You have any pain discomfort when I push here? Yeah, a little discomfort. Left. Oh. Right. The left. So just kind of relax, let me do the work. It's okay, just relax. Good. I mean, your first rib needs to be adjusted.
through your nose. Good, out through your mouth. Good, sinking in shoulders, hips. Ow. Uh, I could feel like the, um, I could feel it go through to my chest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ow. <laughs> my elbow cracked. <laughs> <laughs> you cracked, I cracked. Okay, again, deep breath in, far in as you can go, all the way in. Good, and let your whole body sink as you breathe out, let it go. Uh, why did it do that to my... My mouth. Alright, so I'm gonna bring your shoulders up like this and your hips down like this, and then from right there is where we push. Okay, breathing. <clears throat> and out. Good. Ooh, <laughs> that is a trip. Breathing in through your nose, not through your mouth. Okay, we're gonna do one more breath. Good. Good. <laughs> Center. <laughs> Left. Center. And then we're just going to push like that. So let's do, let's follow the breath in through your nose. And out. Good. Gentle, gentle. Okay, nice and gentle breathing and let your head and shoulders sink into the table. Go, let this go. Oh, I didn't breathe for that, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, push out. Push out to the side. Push, 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 push. Relax. <clears throat> okay, now hold your knees together. Hold them as hard as you can together, and then I'm gonna pull like this, okay? Okay, go ahead. Hold. Hold. So first we start with the ileocecal valve. This so we find that by first finding the belly button here and the ASIS here, the front of the hip bone. We connect these two points. We start looking in that spot. Terrible, huh? Yeah. Okay, breathe. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get this to release. No. This is all digestive. Keep breathing. Breathe into your belly. Can you breathe into your belly? Good. Out. Again, deep belly breath. Okay, the next one is the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. <clears throat> A little bit, but not as bad. Okay, we're gonna do it gentle. So deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, keep your teeth together. Good. Ow. That really hurt. That pain will go away very shortly. We just move things in a way that have never been moved before, in a direction that has never moved before, and it is okay to feel it. But I did it super gentle, and I could feel that it was perfect. Yeah, everything feels good. good. That one did not want to crack for you. <laughs> Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Uh, just a little bit here, I got you. Good. Wow. <laughs> that felt <laughs> great. And a little bit, I got you right there. Good, let your hips go, I got you. There you go. 
Yeah. There you go. Ow. And oh, now it moved. So I heard that. Have you go face down, please. Chin up just a little. There. You okay with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then a little bit here, okay? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Did that hurt? Didn't? Uh, no. No. Ow. Okay. Because we don't always have to, but sometimes. Is that a little better with it? Way better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. This toe here, this needs to come up. A little push. Oh, wow. There, that's where all that pressure was from wow. you putting weight on it. That's going to feel a lot better. Back. So to do that, I'm going to almost flip it back. There. There. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> It was so much different. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.